Okay guys, today we're cleaning boots. Okay, so you saw these in a Goodwill thrift trip, I think. Um, they should show up in there anyway. And they were filthy. And I think that's part of the reason why they priced them down. These things were priced at $9.99 and they just look like dirty boots. Well, guess what? They're Ariat boots and Ariat is a Bublo brand. Now they are dirty, but I think there's some treasure underneath that dirt. We're going to clean them. We're going to see how it turns out. What's up, buddy? Okay, see? There you go. There's the, uh, there's the price tag. $9.99. And let me show you our boots here. They are pretty dirty, right? I mean, this is just, this is uh, from use, right? I mean, these things were not abused. They were just used. And it's hard to see the dirt on the brown, I recognize. But here's the, uh, and I tried to show this before, but I guess I actually have better light. That is the, the brand. Um... I, I don't know if whoever saw these didn't see the brand or they just didn't think these were that great. Um, they're certainly worn, but I think there's still value here. So that is the, uh, that's the logo. Keep an eye out for that because Ariat has a really good resale value because to buy it new in the store, super expensive. So here's what they look like. And uh, you know what? I think we can save them. There's uh, the, the bottom is pretty good on both of these. And there's a little bit of scuffing on the toe, sure. But somebody, that's the thing. These things are super expensive new. If somebody just wants a good pair of Ariat boots that still have life left, I think these will fit the bill. Let's see what we can make these things look like. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, you want to mix basically 50% soap, like dish soap, with 50% water. We're just going to make a little bit of paste we're going to rub it on there. Now, normally you'd use like a soft cloth. I don't have one sitting around here. So I'm just gonna use a paper towel. They're soft, they're bounty. And so we're gonna rub that on there, let it sit for a minute. And uh, then we also have my trusty shoe toothbrush that I'm gonna use real gentle and just try to kind of scrub it in. So that's step one. Actually, I take that back. Step one, brush off the loose dirt. Then you move on. So. Step one, step two. Let me go ahead and do that. I got them brushed off. You didn't need to see that. That was boring. We got our dish soap. This is, uh, well, it's what we could find when the apocalypse started. It's seventh generation powered by plants. So we put a little bit in here. Okay. There we go. Now we need a little water. And then my dog barks. Okay, so here's what we're doing. I already put a little bit on there and that's all it is. I'm, I'm actually just using the toothbrush and we're just going to put it on there. I mean, it's super easy. And we're just going to put this, it's a little bit of soap and uh, a little bit of water and you just put it on there. Let it sit for a minute. Okay. Let me finish these. Then we'll show you. All right. And you can, I don't know if you can see, I can see, you can see the dirt's already coming off of those. This is going to look good just with the dirt coming off of there. So you can see, all this dirt is going to get off of here. All right, so we got one boot scrubbed. I'm going to put them in the light over here. That way you can maybe see the difference between them. Now, admittedly, I mean, this leather is wet now, right? So it is going to, this is going to be darker. It is going to be closer to this color, but you can already see the leather is kind of getting moisturized again. You want to keep your, your leather moisturized, otherwise it dries out and then it does crack. So. Uh, that's what this process is going to do. It's going to moisturize the leather. It's going to clean the leather. So you can see this is already much better than this. Okay, so now what you do, now that that's scrubbed in, you want to essentially just wipe it off. That's all you're going to do. now, Because it's going to sit in there. That's not going to hurt the leather. It's actually going to help it. So all we need to do is wipe that off with a cloth. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so now we've got our boot wiped off. But there's still some dirt, stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit it with some water and clean to that toothbrush. We're going to hit it with that brush. Now, you don't want to use 
any brush that's got strong bristles. It'll scratch the leather. You don't want that. So you want a very soft brush if you're going to use a brush. So we're going to hit some, hit this with some water and uh, that brush, get some more of that dirt off. That's the next step. Now, I should have pointed out, if you don't have dish soap around for whatever reason, you can use a mixture of uh, baking powder and uh, or baking soda, baking soda, baking powder, you're making a cake. Use some baking soda and use some water. That'll do the same thing. Let's hit this with some water. Water away. Okay, so we've got the boot now dried off. I'll show that to you. And then the next step would be to put some leather conditioner on. And it turns out I don't have any right now. But we've got sort of a redneck substitute we're going to use. It's going to work. I'll show you. Okay, so you can see, again, um, they're going to look different because one is wet and one is you know, it is not, this is not going to be so dark, uh, but we've wiped it all off. And now what we need to do is, like I said, put some leather, uh, stuff on, you know, we don't have that, but you know what I do have? <laughs> yeah. Um, this actually does work for some leather stuff, believe it or not. Really all that, uh, the conditioner is doing is moisturizing. Now this is of course meant for your dash, right? But it's meant for your leather dash. Look what it does. It fights fading, aging, and cracking. How does it do that? By moisturizing it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use uh, one or two of these wipes on the boot, and then we're gonna set it out to dry. Okay, so uh, we've gone through, and you can see it even is still pulling off little bits of dirt here and there, but we've gone through and we've wiped down the, uh, the boots, give them a little bit of moisture, and now you, what you want to do, you want to let these things sit for about 15 minutes. Let's that, let that stuff soak in, and then we're going to wipe it off with a dry cloth, and then we're going to put it outside to dry. Now, let me tell you how that works. Okay, so when we put our boots out to dry, I know the inclination, right, is I want to get these dry, I want to get them listed. I get it, but if you try to dry them too fast, you're going to crack the leather. Don't put them in front of a heater. That's not going to work. Don't put them somewhere uh, that's damp and mildewy because they're already damp. That's going to hurt them, right? The best thing that you can do is put them in open air. You don't want them in direct heat, so don't have them sitting out in the middle of the yard, but direct air is the best thing for them. So it's going to take about a day. We're going to go ahead and put it out there. We're going to uh, let it dry out, and then we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, guys, it is the next day out here uh, running the smoker a little bit. We've got some short plate ribs going, but it's time to check out our boots and see just how they look. Let me take you out into the yard where we've got good sunlight, and we'll take a look at them. Okay, guys, what do you think? Can you tell the difference? I can tell the difference. The one on... The top there, the one on the right, that's the one that we did all the work to yesterday. The one on the left, we haven't touched that one yet. Here, the one on the uh, the left and bottom. So, I'm trying to stay out of the shadow here. But how about that? I mean, there it's still not perfect, right? I mean, it's still a used boot. But, just look at the difference. A little bit of elbow grease gives you. So if we prop them up here, you can see on the front end too. I mean, look at just the difference in the color. You can really tell how some of that moisture came back in here. So cleaned up, re-moisturized, re-protected there with the leather. There's still some scuffs. They're still, I mean, they're, they're used boots, but I think this boot will sell now. This boot would have sold because of the brand, but not for much. This boot, this is gonna make it sell. So now I've just got work to do because I gotta make that one look like that one. So there you go, guys. A little bit of elbow grease, soap and water, some paper towels, a toothbrush. It doesn't take much. And you can turn something that is just sort of a dirty mess into something that's gonna turn a pretty good profit. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I sure appreciate it. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you like this kind of video, I'll try and do more of this type of thing. But uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you learned something or if you want to learn something else. See what we can do. Thanks for stopping in, guys. Appreciate it.